So welcome back. Uh, let's welcome our first anchor, Dr. Sopnil Chaudhary, to this session. First of all, let me extend our heartiest congratulations for such a great achievement. Rank one is now near feet. Great Thanks job. Lot, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. How do you feel about it? You must be on cloud nine. Sir, I, it was in when I heard the news that was a cloud nine. I did not believe it exactly. Ki, is it true? Initially, it felt like a dream only because it's like a dream to get a ramp one in both in the premier institute exams. I never achieved that feat. So that was like a dream come true, sir. Right, right. So uh, before before we move on to uh, the interview part of it, can you just a little bit tell us about yourself, as in your uh, pre DM phase? Sir, I did my MBBS from SMS Medical College, 2014 batch. Then I joined PGI Chandigarh in 2020 and uh, and did my MD about six months back, sir. Uh, six months back in July 2023, sir. Wow. So basically straight. That's quite impressive. Very impressive. So with the with that, let's start the interview. And uh, the first question I have to ask you is, uh, why did you choose Gasco? What, what made you choose Gasco? Sir, it came automatically. Not I, 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 I can't say like key specifically but when i when first posting when i joined pj was gastroenterology only sir my first posting in, in pj was uh, for two months though we can't make a decision on based on the first posting because as a first time that is a very hectic posting as sir will be knowing that uh, <laughs> it was it was one of the one of the nightmares for a junior resident to be posted in a gastroenterology at that time sir so but it was as a first posting i got to know lot of things that i got to got like uh, i did not even think these things are possible that but i i had seen with my eyes sir then the main decision came when i was posted in second year sir for about two months in which we are actively involved in patient management sir we used to take over take the cases we used to assist in the endoscopy rooms ercp rooms uh, and and eus rooms also nowadays sir so I saw I saw how the, so many different types of procedures being done that basically fascinated me and created a lot of curiosity. But I was not sure at that time. I thought, Ki, let's see other postings also. I'll go around other postings, then I will see. Then I was posted in the pathology in fourth sem. Here also the similar story, sir. Uh, uh, it was fascinating to see various procedures. Again, we used to assist. And then I finally made, Ki, I, I want an interventional bind, but uh, I was very, very attracted towards gastroenterology, but was, I was very reluctant to start for the preparing at that time. Even my SRs used to tell me that you, you should start preparing from now on. Not, I don't know what they saw in me, but they used to push me to do that. You are made for gastroenterology. You should do start preparing for gastro from fourth sem only. That again motivated me, said contributed in deciding that I should go for gastroenterology. But did not start at that time, sir. I started up during. I enjoyed that that time. I thought I'll take a break after and I'll prepare accordingly. Okay. So, how did you prepare? How long did you prepare? Kind of. I mean, obviously, it's not only six months. Sir, it as we don't get that much time in PGI in MD, sir, due for preparation phase. And during the sixth semester, when I got my free posting uh, to start for my MD exams only, I started with the gastro part first. I thought I'll go 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 with the videos of I first started with a marrow video set of both hepat and gesto, but I did not do the question bank stuff or anything because I was on short on time because I have to do all other subjects also. Correct. So I was mainly focused on being MD exams, but I thought ki if I do it better if I do it at this time from the videos, it will make me easier for me when the next time I will be preparing. Uh, okay. For the next six months, I was prepared. Ki I'll be giving for the next six months, but I thought I'll give a short this time. Just uh, I will not. I can't give full dedicated time, but I'll give a short this time, and I will go make good notes, and uh, I'll do other subjects as well. So, sir, in that period, I did not do any question bank or any test series. I just focus on the videos and did videos. I revised my notes once or twice and gave the exam. Though that I qualified for that, but qualified in that uh, in that exam, but I did not go for interview five step at that time. The so next six months when my MD got over, then I started again, sir. Then I start uh, all the drawbacks. I came to know, but more to things to focus, more clarity. Opened my Schlesinger first time. Went through some important tables, some important topics. This is how I approach, sir. 
Okay, that's wonderful. <clears throat> so uh, when you said, what did you feel more important? Was it the videos or the textbook? Obviously, the textbook is quite big. So when you started, sir, it's not possible. It's not possible to do that full stuff textbooks, sir. It is. It, but the, it's not, not that high yielding. If if uh, it's better to go through marrow videos and most important tables and figures are very very important also in English. Sir, most of the questions can be solved by doing the tables and the tables and the underlying stuff of uh, underlying that uh, sentences written below the tables also, sir. Uh, figures that are very very important, sir. And uh, I would. Uh, I also did, sir. Most most important topics like approach, basic approach stuff. I read through the sledging. Okay. 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 So you pick the. So you picked up certain uh, high yield topics, and then you yes, went sir. on. So yes, how sir. did you pick, how did you pick up these high yield topics? What made you pick these topics? Sir, uh, I uh, first of all, uh, my seniors, those who have just who got, they guided me, sir. They told me what what most like most and more important topics to concentrate on. And sir, previous year exams topics also you get. Uh, I got, went through them before starting. That gave me an idea that most important topics that would be asked. Like in hepatitis, uh, hepatitis B and C are the most important. You have to study there. Almost every exam will have the same questions. Yes. Um, so, th so he he made me and and through that I got an idea that what are the most important topics and went through them uh, through Slazinger as well as. I repeated the videos. Most I, the, those topics, like most of the updated videos you put, I went through them, sir. Right, right, right. So there is a significant role of experience in the subject as well as the role of seniors in your uh, uh, getting yes, through. To oh, that is an point. Oh, they actually kind of guided you. So staying in a in a field where you want to probably that is what helped you more and exposure to the yes, field. Sir. Yes, sir. True. Okay. Okay. So, uh, how was the exam? How did you find it? So, you've written twice now exams. Now, how, what, how, how can, what do you think the exam is? Sir, this year exam was, I, I thought the, the, the most part, I studied for about three months. I thought it was not justice to the, to the preparation, I guess. Because the exam was not, uh, not from the core of gastroenterology. That could have, I thought ki, that was not from the core of gastroenterology, sir. Like they asked them to taxonomic classification as such. That that are only or more on the guessing work, guessing power only, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, touch wood, I got most of them right. I I had not checked it, but I got most of them right. But sir, that could have been much better, sir. Mostly last year exam, you see the most they asked on the core core topics. Topics who are same, but this are sensible question. But this time there were more on on uh, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't know. Simple, like on that side, sir. Like ERCP guide wire induced injury class. It, Class injury. If you know, you know. If you don't know, that is that. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it yes. wasn't Slesinger based, is what you're thinking? Was yes. it Slesinger based? Sir, though the questions were most Slesinger based, but some questions were like, if you know, if you know, if other random questions were more on. Yeah. Because okay. microbiota full, we we study about the most most important things about microbiota's role in gastrointestinal. But they asked about a taxonomic classification. Which we used to study in biology in class. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the, so there were little case oriented scenarios were less compared to road yes, questions. Sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So okay. first 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 impression when I went came out of the exam, I called my friend. He was also preparing for gastro. I thought ki, we both were preparing. We both were roommates and we both were preparing for gastro. We, we, we both uh, were lucky enough that we both could motivate each other and could discuss between uh, every important topics between us. So that was also one of the factors that it was easy, sir. Okay. okay. And what happened to him? Sir, uh, he, uh, he, he got a rank of 8, sir. Wow. In great. Rank of eight. Yes. That's also something commendable again. That's nice. It, yes. Very minimal difference between both of you, sure. <laughs> Almost yes. the same. That on the day, day only, sir. That depends on the day. Yeah, it's the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, of course, in your exam, you had certain endoscopies and radiology images. Yes, sir. So, so what do you, how, I mean, how did you go about it? I mean, it's not very easily discussed, right? Sir, uh, 
most uh, endoscopy images are, description is written very beautifully in closing the third most of the part. Mm -hmm. And so most of most of the going through uh, various test series and exam, it, I got got accustomed with the image set. I guess. All right, that's right. And so, so I think the fact that you you prepared in PGI during your MD that would have made a difference. I think. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. I would have made an amazing amount of difference. I still remember in during the third year post uh, third semester posting when I was posting in endoscopy rooms. I used to write reports. Sir, sir used to Anupam sir used to make me write reports. Sir, that was yes. I re still remember. He used to dilate. Yeah. He used to dilate the CRE dilatation and he used to make me write the reports with me standing there. Even during the US also, I used to write the uh, rough report. Yeah, so you'll be, you'll be familiarizing yourself. That was very easy, sir. I could easily write, uh, uh, interpret reports. That was very, very important. Yeah. yeah. That is so working, in a, working in an institute, I mean, working, working in a place where uh, there is an exposure to the subject helps. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, it's a deal breaker. I don't think it's a deal breaker, but it will definitely give you a plus point. Yes, sir. True. Yeah. Just it's not necessary that you have to, but I think it's definitely a plus point. Sir, so during the postings also during I, I used to enjoy IBD very much. Sir, I don't know how, but I used to enjoy that. They used to make the flare yes, graphs. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, the flare graphs they used to make. I used to do in OPD only. And some some uh, okay. medicine OPD where guest patient used to come. I used to make that graph. I still remember and used to go and discuss with my professor. And I don't know. I it was I was meant for it at all. I yeah. used so to enjoy the cases. You are interested in it. You showed interest, and uh, you know, and obviously, yeah. if you show interest, information will come to you. If you keep your mind open and you show interest, information will definitely come to you. And, well, so, just one thing I want to ask. So, you said that you watched the videos also. So, how did you manage to? You know, obviously, you're working and uh, studying and watching videos, correct? Right? So, how did you manage your time based on you know, was it like you know, every day half an hour, every day one hour, or something like that? Or? Sir, when I started the videos during my uh, MD, that was my free post, relatively free posting. I used to have a six hours duty, uh, of rock, six to eight hours duty. That was my relatively free posting. So I could contribute, give about 10, eight to 10 hours. That, But I had to give because I had not studied for the about two and a half years. Everything had gone. I had to push a bit harder because I had to prepare for my MD exit exams also, sir. Correct, correct. Okay, okay. So once, once the uh, MD exam got over the last six months, how did you manage? In the last so first of all, after MD exam, I enjoyed my college life for two months. Then I came back home. I I came back home. I left everything and I came back home. And then I started preparing from the scratch only. I thought I did not see the repeat videos, but some some videos which I was found. I started from the uh, uh, revising the notes and then do my question bank. So, and mm -hmm. then I got an idea with which what topics are most uh, I can work on. Fi I finalized my notes. I added new material if needed. I watched some videos. So I, on one go in one month or one and a half month, I could consolidate the full material that I had. I had is more than sufficient and enough that I have to just revise, revise, and revise all this stuff now. Oh, so basically, then in between, yes. But in between, the neat neat SS was also a bit of distraction, also, but a boon as well as distraction. I can say because uh, neat. I had about 20 days for need. I gave 20 days for need address. I thought ki, I'll st just revise to the me whole medicine notes for the need assess. That will also help me in INI because there was only a 20 days gap. So need mm -hmm. I gave about 20 month, 20 days to one month for need, need assess also, sir. I but side by side I was bit uh, reading guest also, sir. Wow. Well, 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 now so obviously you have done from SMS Jaipur and then from PJ. So you are pretty pretty much from tier one colleges in the country. Uh, uh, of course, when you're tier one, everybody feels that once you're on tier one, then it's easier to get into tier one things again, institutes again. Yes. Do you yes, have sir. any advice to those people who are not exactly in tier one, you know, little uh, not, like average medical colleges? Mm, do you have any advice for them? As in, sir, main main hurdle is basically your own mind only. I think because everyone thinks that I cannot reach that level. Exactly, it is not. It is not like that. Everything is achievable, sir. Sir, when I was in, in SMS, I never thought that I'll go to a PJ, PJ like institute. When I came here, I came to know that everyone is equal, everyone is similar like me. That time also, I used to think that like he, they are some they are doing something different. It is not that. It is just our mind which is the biggest hurdle, sir. 
that is wonderful that is a really good uh, advice you would definitely be imparted to all the uh, students in the country good so let me say when you before concluding it how do you think was the ina interview we did not discuss that how was how do you think the ina interview was it very hard or what do you think it was no sir that was not hard they mostly it as your confident i did not do that did not give personally i did not give that good great interview i knew i was very disappointed i even thought ki i would not, won't get aims this time i was completely ruled out i was just on apparently the professor there did not think that even though you thought that sir i uh, the theory marks help i guess uh, so how was then the uh, interview was so that basically they asked about approach only they just see your approach how you see the patient like they they gave us a small history they asked what other question you will ask like i get got a case of alcoholic hepatitis sir likely then they uh, then they asked about how other question you will ask then they gave me uh, what investigation you will ask then they gave me the what investigation are you interpreting first they asked my interpretation then they gave the investigation and this asked how to uh, how you will analyze this then then they went forward and asked will you do a liver biopsy or not then they asked me what is the role of liver biopsy then they asked me how prognostic scores they asked oh uh, then they asked uh, what is the role of prognostic score then they asked me what uh, how you will treat this patient how you will approach this patient then what will the dosage like step by step they asked rather okay. than uh, then That's next so day, basics, uh, so basically one the basics and then no i think over the top no sir no sir no sir they just want to uh, they want to see your confidence and how confident you are and how you analyze and how you approach a patient rather than doing some high fest stuff then they gave us two spotter session per per person na sir the one spotter they gave for ecclesia cardia like they asked me uh, define the diag- x ray they were given define the diagnosis and then other tre- what other treatment four treatment modalities you could do for it and uh, then they gave me his other spotter like a patient with a retching and vomiting and uh, like behavior of it was likely behavior of syndrome they gave an x ray how what uh, what is mm-hmm. what do you see in x ray this was it went for about 10 to 15 minutes sir Mm-hmm. it's a very very concise and uh, i think uh, in in this in the short span of this uh, this session quite a bit of uh, information has been uh, you have you have given actually you have uh, given out and i think it it going to help a lot of people and it's a it's a short i think we should keep it short only because uh, we don't want to drag it and make it boring for us but thank you thank you for being with us and again uh, congrats on this crazy achievement i hope uh, you continue Uh, more laurels like this in the future is one i'll be looking forward to where he's going to join <laughs> <laughs> yeah the take on that you still have time to decide so you make an informed decision yes. like you said there's a role of seniors probably will will help you more in this actually so let us know also if you want some help from our side also let us know we will we, we will uh, sure, yeah. yes if you are still still you know confused at the end of it or you can always give me a call but then you will know which way i am going to push you <laughs> <laughs> yes thank you sopnil with really congrats again man congrats good job extremely good job thanks a lot sir